Okay, I think I'm live. <laughs> All right. Of course, nobody's in yet, so I don't know for sure. Oh, there's Juan. Hey, Juan. Nice to see you. I don't really see you, but I, I see you texting. Okay, I think I'm live. Oh, I got an echo going. All right. Trying to get this thing off the ground, semi-smooth. Good day to you as well. Thank you. Last time I tried to do a, uh, a live stream on Lada's channel, I couldn't get it off the ground. It was so embarrassing. Everybody was waiting to get in and it was like I couldn't figure it out. So uh, that was a, a Sagittarian fall on my face moment. So this time I became, I became uh, very prepared, let's say, did a lot of studying. So uh, take that Mercury in retrograde, you know. All right. Hello, all. Thanks for joining me. Looks like there's about a 20 second lag time with this video here, which is cool. I can see the chat going. Hello from Spain. All right. We're not too far from each other. I'm in uh, Lisbon. It's uh, 6 p.m. here. Yeah, in the evening. We're a little bit before the official solstice, but hey, you know, if we were doing the real solstice, it would be way past my bedtime. So during the meditation, I probably would have fallen asleep right on the camera, you know, clunk. So as people are trickling in here, Hi, Michelle. I'm from California, too. Botard. And for anybody who's watching this recording after the fact, uh, once it's uploaded to the, the channel, I will put a timestamp in the comments below and pin it and, and uh, give you the official time of the start of the meditation. Yeah, isn't this amazing? We can connect with each other live across the internet. I know this is like so 2008, but gosh, it still blows my mind. Age of Aquarius. So I'm just letting people come in. Um, I won't wait too long to start the meditation. So we can just have a, a little chit chat here for a couple minutes. I'm drinking uh, Pedras, it's uh, mineral water from the springs here in Portugal. It's like my new favorite thing. I don't think they import into the States though. I never heard of it when I lived there. Hello from Seattle. I was born in Seattle. I hope everything's okay there. I heard it's kind of tense. I don't know if it's calmed down or, or not. So, are you guys ready to just dive on in or you want to wait a few minutes? It's so important to uh, do this meditation now. Uh, it's an honor and a blessing uh, that you all join me. This solstice is a, is a prime time, especially when it's coinciding with the eclipse, to set a strong intention to this transitional point to uh, the new season. And I talked a lot about this new season, at least in terms of astrology, in my last video I did a few days ago. Um, I won't go into all that and repeat it here, uh, but in a pistachio nutshell, it's the combination of cancer, healer, nurturer energy, and warrior Mars energy, creating the meta archetype of the protector. And here we are trying to weave a sweet spell together for peace, for love, compassion, and protection to the sacred planet we find ourselves on, which is uh, a little bit of a tense spot, as I'm sure you've noticed. But this year, you know, there's a lot of astrologers out there saying, I told you so, although they, <laughs> I don't think anybody predicted a pandemic, maybe a few astrologers did, but, uh, or all the, the tension. But, you know, every astrologer knew 2020 was gonna be big. And right now, uh, 
Neptune is in its own sign, which it has been since 2012. So 2012 to 2026, Neptune's in its own sign, effectively supercharged, where we're looking to integrate as humanity, you know, uh, Neptunian energy more fully. And because of the laws of synchronicity folding around that will create, bring circumstances to us by chance, you know, in air quotes, by chance that we need to be having collectively. And we need to be having Neptunian experiences because we're ripe to be rapidly moving up this Neptunian continuum, which basically is our consciousness. You know, the quantity of light of our soul. It's a very spiritual planet. And not only is it in its own sign, but it's also stationed. And I said it in many of my videos. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing it, but whenever a planet is uh, stationed, it's it's maximum power. So it, it, Neptune's in its own sign, stationing right now while we're headed into the solstice and the solar eclipse, more or less overlapping with each other. So as we enter into the season of the protector, it's perfect time to do this meditation. I'd say that about solstices and eclipses in general, just because cultures from around the world have used these as a sort of ceremony uh, time for celebration to really call in a new intention for the next season. That's exactly what we're doing here in a very Neptunian way. Because the, the veil between dimensions is a little thinner now and we can send messages out, also receive guidance that comes and goes. That feedback loop of, of, of psychic uh, information is, is what we're trying to tap into here. So it's a powerful time to meditate, but it's even more powerful when we do it in a group setting like this. So thank you all for joining me. So I'm gonna start, let me give you two more minutes. Start at 6.10. And it looks like we got 80 people in here, that's great. The last time I did a live meditation, I think we had like 30 or 40, so wow, double, yeah. Yeah, 2020 is not disappointing on the on the uh, big energy front. Yeah, especially right now. You know, we have two other planets stationed as well, Venus and Mercury. Just just so much. We're getting bombarded with so much energy right now. It's exciting, but also terrifying for a lot of us. And of course, fear and excitement are close cousins, and we're feeling a lot of a lot of that across the board, as well as the negative side of um, of uh, of Mars energy, which is so strong right now, which is a lot of anger. Anger that's stemming from fear and inequality. And to the people that are angry, they think it's justified. You know, it's righteous indignation, you know? And yeah, they're kind of right, you know, but at the end of the day, Mars, or uh, anger rather, which is a Mars emotion, is it's, it's, it's coming from the lower spectrum of possibilities in the scale of consciousness. It's stemming ultimately from this, the family of fear emotions. It's fear-based. So during this meditation, we're calling in all the emotions and tensions that stem from love and light. That's very Neptunian. And that helps us to get away from the more poisonous version of Mars. Mars can be very good too. You know, we're gonna call in some of those qualities too, high in Mars, courage, you know, being assertive standing up for ourselves, standing up for other people, setting healthy, strong boundaries, but utilizing the right use of force. You know, too much force is a bad thing. No, we don't need to use headphones. Uh, I don't, I haven't, I don't think we can, I can do the binaural beats uh, through the stream. I can, uh, I could have tried to figure out how to do some music, but I didn't think it would sound that good through the speakers, through my microphone. So we're just gonna, we're gonna have to rely on my voice here. And hopefully there won't be too many uh, uh, sirens or um, really loud motorcycles. Cause I, I live in downtown Lisbon. There's not much I can do about that. If I hear one coming, I'll try to mute my microphone. So if I don't say anything for a little bit, just, tried to hold and maintain the visualization that I gave you and I'll, I'll be back. Or if I don't mute it, if I forget or whatever, just to try to consider it part of the ambiance of the meditation experience. 
Okay, all right, now we're up to 100 people, excellent. All right. Ah, oh, well, let's get let's get in the uh, let's get in the space. Let's cast some spells. Hmm. Thank you all for joining me. Okay, so. Whether you're sitting on the ground cross-legged, that's beautiful, or if you're on a chair, uh, you want to have a nice straight spine. Really, that's the goal. That's the main energy channel of the body. If you do it laying down, that's okay too, but you're likely to fall asleep, just as a little warning. You know, it's hard to it's hard to maintain a meditative state while you're laying down because meditation, deep trance state, I guess you could say, is right above sleep state. So they're right next to each other. So it's very common if you try to do this laying down that you'll just pass out, <laughs> which is cool. You'll probably benefit from it, from the rest and relaxation and maybe some sort of subconscious interactions between my voice while you're asleep. But um, yeah, if you wanna stay awake and alert, yeah, stay sitting up, but the straight spine is really the goal and to be comfortable. All right, let's get going. So close your eyes. And just simply begin focusing on the breath. Nice and easy. And you breathe in through your nose and you fill up your belly and then your chest. And then when you exhale, you exhale from the belly first and then the chest. You know, so into the belly and lower lungs and then middle lungs and then upper lungs and then exhale, lower lungs and belly, middle lungs, upper lungs. So always belly first. Nice, slow, rhythmic breathing. And pay close attention to your heartbeat. Bring your conscious awareness into the center of your chest. And just try to feel your heartbeat. It's the pulse of life. Nice slow inhale, nice slow exhale. No pauses in between, just steady, rhythmic. And try to coordinate your breath with the beat of your heart. So four heartbeats per inhale if you can. and four heartbeats per exhale. If that's too fast, you can do three. If it's too slow, you can do six. In, out. Now I want you to visualize a place in your mind that you consider sacred. Some place that you create in your mind. It can be a cathedral or a temple. It can be some beautiful cabin out in the woods. It can be in nature. And visualize this place as vividly as you can. It's your sanctuary. It's only for you and the divine.
and add as much detail to the visualization as you can. Any sounds that you're hearing, maybe some burning incense, birds chirping. You can add smells and sights. And I'm going to say a prayer here and feel free to repeat the prayer after me or use your own prayer if there's one that you find very special and powerful for you. Absolute infinite beingness. God. Everlasting life. Love and mercy. Manifesting yourself in yourself as your total wisdom and almightiness. Enlighten our minds to know that you are the truth and cleanse our hearts to reflect your love towards you and towards all other beings. Amen. And now would be a good time to set your own little personal intention if you have one, you know, maybe to receive some guidance or to set a strong intention for this new season we're entering into. Now, I want you to leave your sanctuary and bring your awareness back into your body and go down, 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 all the way into your feet, all the way into your toes. Feel like you're in your toes. and visualize a white color, a brilliant, pure white color in your toes and now into your feet. There's a grounded feeling in your feet. Now visualize the white color going up into the ankles now, both the ankles. Releasing any tension there. Now bring the white color up into the calves. And now into the knees, a beautiful snow white color. Gives you a warming sensation, relaxes all the tissues. Now up into the thighs. And hips now. And now see this white color in both of your legs, all of your legs at the same time. All colors are in white and God is in all things.
Now I want you to put your attention on your abdomen from the solar plexus all around the belly, in the belly, even down to the pelvic floor. And visualize a sky blue color. And you can visualize it as a radiant sun in your stomach, a sky blue sun shining out blue in all directions. And as you inhale, you see the blue sun grow brighter and brighter. And as you exhale, see the blue color extend and ripple out through your entire body. All the way to the end of your fingers and toes. And as you inhale, see the sky blue color grow brighter, shining in all directions. And then see and feel it ripple through your entire body as you exhale. and say, I have perfect health in my material body. Continue to visualize the sky blue color. And as you feel it ripple through your body as you exhale, just Feel all the tension and stress leave your body completely. Each time you exhale, you relax more and more and more. Now bring your awareness to the chest area and start to visualize a beautiful white rose color, a light pink color in and around your chest. Now you don't wanna focus on the, the heart, but just the whole chest area in and around your chest this beautiful pink sun shining this color in all directions around you. And say in your heart, I have peace. I have balance with my emotions and my desires. With each inhale, it grows brighter and brighter, opening up your heart center. radiating peace in all directions. Now bring your awareness to your throat 
area right around the thyroid. And now visualize an orange color, beautiful, bright orange color, the same color as the fruit, the orange, and really the same size as an orange. And see this orange sphere in your throat, right around the thyroid. And as you inhale, see the orange color grow brighter. And as you exhale, it maintains that brightness. And as you inhale, it grows even brighter. And as you exhale, it maintains that brightness. In. Oh. Now bring your awareness into your head center and see a beautiful white gold sun in and around your head, shining in every direction. Growing brighter as you inhale. as you exhale, see this gold color ripple out in all directions. And say, I have more balance with my thoughts and intentions. You're feeding your creative center with energy. So see this white gold as brightly as you can and maintain that visualization as you keep breathing in and out, nice and slow. Now, move your conscious awareness from your head area back down to your chest area. And begin visualizing that beautiful pink color again. That big, beautiful pink sun shining in all directions. Feel all the joy and happiness that's in there. All the compassion. Compassion for others. And compassion for yourself. Feel love for yourself.
and honor how far you've come in this journey. This journey that's one of many. You are beautiful. And you're an extension of God. Remember where you came from. You're an infinite soul having a temporary finite experience. And you're here to evolve. And just feel into that. And continue to visualize the pink color. Now I want you to see somebody in front of you that you know, that you've had maybe some tension with or some conflict, somebody you wanna send love to. Maybe forgiveness. And visualize this person before you, looking at you. And they're looking at you neutrally. No expression on their face. And begin to extend this pink color from your chest out to them. From the pink sun. out to them and surround them in this pink color. And have compassion for their journey. And have compassion for your journey with them together. And think about all the wisdom gained for both of you through your relationship. And as you continue to send them this pink color and send them this love, Visualize their expression changing from neutrality to happiness. And feel the emotional connection. Now I want you to expand your awareness and raise your awareness above earth, looking down on earth. 
It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And now expend, uh, extend this pink energy out to the earth and surround the entire globe. And you see the pink color grow brighter and brighter as you inhale. And maintain that brightness when you exhale. And have a moment of unconditional love and recognition that we're all here on planet Earth figuring this thing out called being a human. And we're all here to grow. And we're all one. We all came from the same place. And just send this loving energy to the entire planet because we need it. And if you want, you can visualize a particular country that you feel needs your love or city or a particular group of people. And visualize people coming together. People putting down their weapons, you know. Entering into peace. And protecting each other, protecting this planet, protecting our future. and see people coming together. See people nurturing each other. Being courageous. and asserting ourselves to, an, to exist in a healthier way. But always coming from unconditional love. Extend your view out above 
earth again, still looking at earth, still sending that love to earth and everybody on it. And say your own personal prayer or intention for this work. Now, bring your awareness back down to earth and into the room you're in. And into your body, feel yourself fully in your body. And now return to that white color and see your entire body luminous with this white color every cell of your body is now brighter, much, much brighter. And you're just shining in all directions as a being of light, a radiant being of light. and bring your awareness back into the room. Begin to move your body a little bit. Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes. You can take your time. I I don't wanna leave, but you know. But whenever you're ready, you can come back into full waking awareness and open your eyes. Thank you, Nina. Thank you all. (laughs) It's it's kind of tough to come back. Uh, Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's been proven that coming together to meditate you know, with a a similar intention is very, very powerful. 
and it's almost like we're weaving together like a, a magic spell for good, you know, to claim a set of probabilities that we want for our future. And we're just doing our own little small part within the collective here. So thank you so much. This has been a, a blessing and an honor. And I appreciate every one of you joining me today. So I'm glad it worked. I'm glad Mercury retrograde uh, didn't get in the way. It wasn't a lot of loud sirens. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, Suzanne. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Carol. I recognize those names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, oh you're going to work now oh wow yes <laughs> you'll be floating through your work <laughs> okay i'm gonna let you guys go uh yeah, this, is, this has been amazing. I should do this more often. But um, yeah, thank you again. And I will schedule another one of these things in the not too distant future. So take care and uh, have fun extending this magic into reality. I love you all. Bye now. <laughs>